don't deserve to be bit, hit, or anything. A teacher accused of hurting a child. A mother reacts tonight. Tonight, a mother is questioning the safety of her daughter's school after she left class with bite marks. Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Shannon Wolfson. After weeks of investigating, Austin ISD police charged the girl's teacher with injury to a child. They say 35-year-old Courtney Williams bit the fourth grader after an outburst. KXAN's Brittany Glass spoke to the mother, who is worried about the training and requirements for special education teachers. It's something no parent can imagine. Why would you buy my child? She goes to school to be safe. Labreda Henry thought her then nine-year-old daughter was safe in her class at Cook Elementary School. Why would you buy the child? You're a teacher, a part of this program to, teach, to control them, to help them not have behaviors like that. And you bite her. Henry says her daughter has behavioral problems, but the special education teacher had no reason to bite her. She will start screaming, hollering. She shouts if someone going back and forth with her. So they have to isolate her from everyone. According to court documents, the girl was disruptive in class on March 6th. So teacher Courtney Williams removed her. The girl was flailing her arms, and in the scuffle, the victim says the teacher bit her on the arm. For you to have top and bottom teeth roll on her arm like that? No. And then the nurse said it's breakage at the skin from you biting her? No, it's too much. Medical professionals evaluated photos of the bite and determined it was intentional. Why would you do that to a child? No telling what you did to someone else. Henry says more needs to be done to make sure this doesn't happen again. They should go through training and stuff for that. Because I feel like she wasn't even trained for it, for her to do that. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. The ASD says that Williams resigned on April 13th. District officials say they referred her to the Texas Education Agency's Educator Investigations Division. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services also investigated, finding the incident was substantiated. It is still not clear if a camera was inside the classroom where this incident started, but more school districts are recording special education students and their teachers because of a new state law. Last legislative session, SB 507 passed. It requires districts to install cameras in any classroom where special education services are provided to at least 50% of the students for at least 50% of the school day. The requirement is triggered when a parent, staff member, or school board member requests the cameras go in. At the beginning of the school year, Leander ISD, Eanes ISD, and Austin ISD all told us they were installing cameras. We have asked AISD for an update on the number of cameras installed, and we will let you know when we hear back from them.